the mother's room. It was a uh, mother's. Like a purse? It was like a large purse. That was oh, so he had been dumping valuables in there? Yeah, or semi-valuable type stuff. Right. So when you reached for the money, he kind of pulled it back and put it in the bag. He put it in the really bag without it. me ever saying it. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, there was also a weird conversation uh, when, he had, when he had called prior to getting back to the house. He, he was calling to let me know that he was on his way and uh, I asked him, I was like, did everything go all right? And he sort of sidestepped the question. And then uh, I asked him, how much did you, uh, did you get? And uh, he sidestepped that, that question as well. And I thought that was really odd. Like, you know, is he trying to, like, is he going to pass one on me and just take off from the mom and leave and leave me here at the house by myself? So there was a lot of tension in the air when he did finally get back to the house. Okay. Then what happened? That's all I did that. When we got back to the house, um, and uh, he put the money in the bag, um, he uh, sort of bluntly ordered me to <laughs> uh, retie mom uh, back. <laughs> Uh, on the pussy liver. So I tied her feet and her, uh, her hands. Um, like we had always done, you know, throughout the day. Okay. Um, we had then, he then pulls me to the side. Um, we go into the dining room, which is on the other side of the house. And it says, uh, very matter of factly, okay, you're, you're ready. We gotta, we got to kill them and burn the house down. I'm like, I'm not killing anyone. There's no way. He goes, I'm, I'm, I'm not. There's, we have the money. There, there's not a problem. You know, they've done everything. They don't know who we are. They can't recognize us. Why did he want him killed? He was, a, he was upset with the fact that I had messed up and used his first name. Okay. Um, he was also going on and on about DNA. Um, Why was he so concerned about DNA? Did he have any sexual relations with him? Not to my knowledge. Um, if anyone had anything, if anyone had the most to worry about DNA, it would have been me. Um, but, you know, I wasn't worried about it because she had taken a job. Okay. Uh, so I don't know why he was so, like, up in arms about it. Okay. Um, so anyway, the, uh, how going. Yeah, we're going back and forth about, um, he's like, well then, you know, I'll kill the two daughters and you can kill the mom. I was like, I'm not killing anyone. I was like, I don't know how to put it more matter of fact. There's, I'm, no one's dying by my hand today. There's, it's not going to happen. It's, I can't. You didn't want to kill him. I didn't want to kill him. Okay. Um, he, even with, I mean, even with the, the, the father, like, I, I couldn't keep in them, like, and I just couldn't do it, you know, it's, that sound is just horrific, like, I just, I, 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 it's not going to happen, and we kept going back and forth about it, and finally he was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll, I'll take care of all three of them, and, uh, he he's been, he was walking around with these stockings uh, that he had, that we had to run out of rope at one point. Stockings as in women's stockings? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he used those for, for rope. So he was walking around in a stocking, um, talking about how he was going to just strangle all, all three of the women. And uh, so he leaves to go into, I'm sitting in the dining room, the formal dining room, which is on the other side of the house, and he leaves to go into the living room where the mother is. And then after a couple of minutes, he goes back and then uh, over to the dining room where I am. And then and he leaves again and to the other end of the house. And then he's back and he was back and forth like you know, four or five times. What was he doing? What, what was he? It, it seemed like he was trying to like psych himself up or, or you know, like. To strangle the one? Yeah, to, to, to do what he felt he needed to do. Okay. Uh, and I'm sitting there and like, uh, like beside myself, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, I, 
Where are you at this point? Uh, sitting in the, the formal dining room. And everyone else is upstairs except for Mom and Dad, who's in the basement. You're yeah. downstairs with Mom and Steve. That's correct. Okay, so. um, I had a, I have a clear sh uh, view of the stairway, the front stairway that okay. goes upstairs. Um, and then you sort of go around the corner. Uh, you're in the kitchen. Yep. And then you go through the kitchen, and then you're in the living room where the mom was. And then, of course, you know, the father was downstairs in the basement. Um, the fourth or fifth time that he had walked back into the room that I was in, the dining room, um, he left again and was in there for, like, it was like 15 minutes, like. Along with the mom. With, right? with the mom, yeah. And I'm assuming he's just still trying to psych himself up. And um, during which time, I hear this noise down in the basement and, and suddenly recognized it as the built door <laughs> that led to the outside. Which is where the dad was. Which is right where the dad was. And I yelled at the same time I jumped up, um, screaming to see that the father just took off. He has left and um, was racing uh, towards the room that he was in and uh, he was then coming back towards me and as we're converging on the, the basement door um, I could see behind Steve that uh, the mother was uh, laying lifeless on the floor uh, with her head on the love seat um, and her pants were down around her ankles. So she's, she's in your opinion lifeless her pants are down by her ankles, which they hadn't been at any time prior to this. Never, no. And did you check on her? Did you ask him what he did? No, because my primary concern at that point was the father taking off the basement door. What made you think she was lifeless? Um, her, her face was a deep, deep purple from the neck up, like bluish, purplish, like cool blood. Um, being an EMT, I've seen plenty of lifeless bodies, and I recognize the mother as being quite lifeless. Her tongue was also sticking out of her mouth, so uh, and, her, and her eyes were very bucked out. Her eyes were bucked. So, as your EMT experience tells you, what what did you think occurred? I was, I was fairly confident that that Steve had finally built up in the uh, the nerve to, to strangle her. So at this point, you think she's strangled and dead, pants are down, so you... So I was making the assumption that he was, uh, had also a raped her. But um, you didn't actually see him strangle or rape her, but that's, that's your her, opinion of... That's, that's my opinion. She's yes. definitely lifeless, and in, in your opinion, dead at this time. Yes. So now you both head towards the basement. Uh, he stops at the basement door and parks at me to run down there and check to make sure that he did in fact take off. Yeah. Uh, which I did, I went down there and, was, and sure enough he had definitely uh, taken off out the back local door. So the father basically escaped the house at this point? That's correct. Okay. Did you chase him? No. Okay, go ahead. Um, I went back upstairs and told Steve that he's gone. We've got to get out of here right now. We have, we have to leave right this second. So on the upstairs, you mean the first floor where mom is already... That's correct, yes. Motionless, lifeless. Yeah, and okay. we're in the, the dining room. And you want out? Yeah, we have to go now. There, there's no option. Okay. Um, now it's only a matter of minutes before he gets to the neighbor's, or seconds even, before he gets to the neighbor's house and the police are called. Okay. And Steve's taking all this time you know, to... I don't know what he was thinking. He ends up taking the bag with the money in it and you know, shoving it in my chest and tells me to go start the car. Okay. And I'm like, where's the keys? Where's the keys? Where's the keys? And he's like, I don't know. They're over there somewhere. And we're going back and forth like with our heads chopped off. And in the middle of that, he darts into the garage. Okay. Um, I turn around to keep looking for these keys. And... Um, I turn back around um, and he's pouring a whole bunch of gasoline on the kitchen floor and 
down the front hallway, which leads to the stairway. Now, mom is in the living room at this point.